Hello, dear ones. My name is Drax16. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's going to be a, a revisit onto a video I made a while ago in which I talked about my mental health. So today is just a bit of an update for those of you who care about how I'm feeling. And not just the, how I'm feeling, but I don't know, maybe it can be a bit of encouragement to those of you who are mentally ill, like me, I'm mentally ill. I suffer from depression and psychosis. Depression is like a really bad wave of sadness that covers me. But, you know, in the last year, my psychosis or my depression hasn't been that potent. So I think I do still suffer from depression. I think I do. But those waves of sadness and melancholy, they tend to be kind of rare these days. As long as I'm taking my medication, of course. I take Effexor and Olanzapine. Effexor is for depression, and Olanzapine is for my psychosis. And psychosis, although it isn't an illness in and of itself, it, it can be a sign of a mental illness. So like, for example, schizophrenia. I asked a doctor that I trusted, I asked her if I have schizophrenia, and she, she nodded and said that it's very possible that I do. So next time I talk with a doctor, I'll just ask her. There's a different doctor that I'm talking about. Not the one who said that I might suffer from schizophrenia, but a different doctor that I'm currently seeing. Um, but anyways, so psychosis is basically when someone is detached from reality. It's a mental condition in which a person is, you know, they don't understand what's going on around them necessarily. And often is the case that they can hear voices that don't actually exist, or they can see or smell things that don't actually exist. For me, I've been having a lot of voices and a lot of visual hallucinations. And that's ultimately the reason I'm making this video. I don't want to make it just, you know, for pity and saying, oh, life is so unfair. God hates me. God, it, you know, it's everything happens for a reason. And so in the long term, I know that everything's going to be okay. But in the short term, just looking at it from, from my point of view, it just, life is just really crappy right now. I've been having a ton of visual hallucinations. That's where I'm thinking that I'm somewhere I'm not. So for example, I could be just watching something on YouTube and all of a sudden I'll picture myself in front of uh, a mosque leading the Salat or prayer. And I've had that hallucination quite often, almost every day. And I used to be a Muslim, so that's probably where that delusion derives from, that a visual delusion that is. Um, yeah, I'm having a bad hair day, so that's why I'm having a hat on. But go Leafs go. Next year is going to be different. I can feel it. We've got Tyler Bertuzzi and Reeves and all sorts of good stuff. But anyways, not here to talk about hockey. Anyways, so I I have these visual delusions where I see things that don't actually exist. and uh, Or sometimes I'll even have a delusion that I'm in more than one place at the same time, like by location, by B-I as in two of something, like bifurcate or bisexual or biannual, you know, the bi, the bi, it means two of something. So biannual means every two years. Bisexual means a sexual attraction to two genders, etc. Or two sexes, rather, not two genders necessarily, but whatever, it doesn't matter. The point is that life is just really, really hard right now. And I would appreciate it if those of you who are Christians who would pray for me. I would definitely appreciate that very much. 
it's just really hard right now, you know, it's, and I'm not doing this video for pity because it could always be worse. I don't want someone to think that I'm getting the short end of the stick. You know, God is just testing me like, uh, like how he tested Joseph when he was thrown into prison. And when I say Joseph, I don't mean Jesus' stepfather. I mean Joseph, the son of Jacob. So I'm sure that, and I even mentioned that last video, I think, where I talked about, like, Joseph may have had suicidal thoughts or something like that. I think it's very possible that he also suffered from depression. I think that's very possible. I'm not asserting it, but I think it's definitely possible. But anyways, um, and I haven't been hearing voices that often, but I do get visual hallucinations. And these typically last shorter than auditory hallucinations. The visual hallucinations are usually a lot more brief, but they're far more severe. And I won't be able to do anything. Like I can't play video games. I can't watch stuff on YouTube. I can't even sleep or eat or do anything really. It actually takes effort to sit down on a chair and to do something. It takes effort to sit. Like right now, I'm sober minded, so I'm not having a hallucination right now, but it actually takes effort. It takes physical effort and mental effort to sit down in a chair. Because even just moving around, like getting up and going to the bathroom, it actually is difficult. It's physically and mentally difficult to do those things. So, yeah, it's just been really hard. It's, uh, but I don't even know why I'm making this video. It, it, I probably will delete it after a few days, or maybe I won't. I don't know. I'll pray about it. But anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I hope that all of you have a beautiful day. God bless you.